Hi everyone, welcome back to our survival series. In the last episode, we started work on our fire pit cooking system. Now we've got the menu ready to go, we are now going to be needing some food for that. So in this episode, we're going to work on adding our food to our data table and adding our data assets for our different meals that we'll be cooking and preparing. So let's get started. Hi all, so last time we were here, we were working on our fire pit and working on the cooking system. And now we're going to work on adding our food to the game. So first things first is we're going to make use of our inventory's item data table. So we open this up and we're going to add our items to this thing. And this will be where our ingredients go. So let's just add a couple of these to this. So let's add a uh, cheese. And let's rename that one to cheese as well in the row name. Another one, uh, beef. And we'll do one more bun. Okay, for each one of these, we're going to add a stack size. So we'll send that to 10, 10, 10. I do for now. Next up is the actual food itself. Now this will be using our item uh, items we just made, the ingredients, but they'll be combined together to make an actual food item. Now the food items we can define inside of our item data table. Now we need it to be in part of this because it's going to work together with the rest of our inventory system. So we want to go and add a row to this and we'll call this one burger. And we'll put in here burger. And it's this one that'll probably have like the item effect for healing. So for example, we've got the heal player, we'll put that in there. And we could stack up to five burgers, for example. Okay. Now there's a couple of things we want to add to this, such as like the models, so we can see what the model looks like for the burger, especially. So let's go ahead and take a look at doing that by putting in our item classes. So where's our inventory folder? Items. So here we go. Got all these items here. We're just going to basically duplicate this. And we'll make this one cheese. Open this up. And we'll just change the mesh over to the cheese mesh that I've got in here. And we'll just do cheese. Okay. Part that. Save that and go and go to item data table component and change the type to cheese file save okay let's make another one create child of that or not child duplicate of that <clears throat> and that'd be beef and we'll search for beef Burger. There we go. Or oh, I could just search for beef. I think I've got an actual beef thing. No. No, that's fine. We'll just use burger. <clears throat> like that. And don't forget to change the item data component to use the burger. Oh, not burger. Beef. There you go. is and let's make another one bun and we're going to change this to be the burger bun bottom but we're also going to add the bun top to this so we can see both in the same thing so I'm going to just duplicate that and this one we're going to set to Burger, bun, Got to adjust that, and ooh, the top there got reset, and why is that one so much bigger than this one? Ah, oh, it's because the scale is different, there you go. Like 
just going to change the scale of those to 1.5, 1.5. <clears throat> okay, there we go. So back on the item data table, we are going to go and add those classes to that. So cheese, cheese, uh, beef. button like that. okay now we need to know what items go together to make this item and for that we're going to use a data assets or data cards or anything we want to do there we need to have that table if you want whatever you need you just need some way of reading data somewhere else so we're going to do it in the data asset so i'm going to go and create a new blueprint class search for primary data asset da food open this up and this is going to have the name of the meal and essentially it's going to be all the stuff we need to show on our ui so the name description and model or mesh we call it we'll go static mesh component or fake mesh rather uh, but also we want a reference to which item in the item data is going to reward as well so that'd be the item data and that'd be a data table row handle save that okay now we're going to make the different data items for this so let's go into miscellaneous and go up to data asset and from the list you can choose your DA food and that'll be burger and the burger in here we can do burger a meal with beef cheese and buns and the mesh we'll do in a second, but the item data here, we want to refer to our data table and our burger option. Now, one thing that's missing in here is we have to add in the recipe. So let's go back to our primary data asset, the DA food. And we're going to add in here recipe. Now, much like when we did the building pieces, it works pretty much the same way. So if we go back to the building system, you'll see we've done the recipe here as names with integers as a map. So it's essentially the same as this so let's go back to our da food name mapped to integer so you know what item and how many of that item okay and that will do there we can close that and on a recipe over here on the burger we can add in the different row names so we need cheese be one B one bun one. Okay. Now, as for the actual mesh, this is a unique uh, thing to solve because our burger already in, is in here as separate pieces, as a modular system. So what we're going to do is we're going to build it ourselves and then combine it using the modeling mode. So let me just bring in those pieces. So we're going to go to models and I've got them in here. So we've got burger button, a uh, burger bun bottom, burger bun top, burger cutlet, and burger cheese. So I'll drag them all out into the scene. And I'm just going to go into modeling mode. And what I'm going to do is I want to combine all these together. So let me just bring that in here. Let me just camera speed it down a bit. Like this. Okay. So let's bring that up. So that's the top. That's the bottom. That's the cut lip. And that's the cheese. We just assemble the burger like this and then we select all the pieces 
and then we're going to go down on the modeling mode and you'll find in the section mesh ops or if you're in later versions it's in i think mesh uh just choose merge you're looking for the merge option get all that hit accept now it's just one model okay it's a merged burger model Okay, select and when you make anything in modding mode what it's going to do is going to create the asset in the same folder as the map so you see here there's the first person map and there's generated there's our models so there's the burger model we just made so we're just going to change that to sm burger and then go to our uh burger make asset and put in sm burger there we go Close that and close that. Okay, brilliant. So now we've got all of the various pieces in place. Next up, we're going to be doing is building our cooking interface to show all of the ingredients that the player has in their inventory and then present what meals they can actually cook. Okay, so there you go. We've now got the data set up ready to go for our cooking system. What's left to do is in the next episode, we're going to put in our, and populate our cooking menu so we can see what recipes are available to us and begin cooking them. So you can watch that next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find that video plus many others early before anyone else from just $1 a month. Thank you so much to all the Patreon members and YouTube members for their continued support in the channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you all next time.